everyone, welcome to Ridiculousness. I am your host, Rob Deerdick. With me as always, Chanel West Coast. Now I'm gonna throw it over to you. Have you ever had a situation where an animal was just up in your face? Well, I love all animals, but sometimes they're kind of scary. This one time, I was at a drive-in zoo with my family, and a zebra put his whole head in our car. He took all my snacks. Well, Chanel, it's funny that you tell us that story because it leads us right into our first category, overly aggressive animals. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's video. It is fantastic to have you here. Now, if you've watched MTV, TV over any of the last 15 years, you've probably seen ridiculousness or know what it is. It's a classic clip show like America's Funniest Home Videos or Tosh.0. Oh. And I love Tosh.0, oh, but it doesn't exist anymore. And America's Funniest Home Videos, like, come on, is anybody actually watching that? Ridiculousness is the last true clip show on television. And other than cops, it's practically the only show on MTV. You're watching MTV. At nine, it's three straight days of ridiculousness. But first, an all new ridiculousness. The show has largely succeeded because of a likable cast of Rob Dyrdek, Janelle West Coast, and Stilo Brim. And Rob Dyrdek is one of my favorite celebrities. I hope one day I can meet this guy. Cause he just seems like the most likable guy. Are you guys familiar with Demon Dog? Like, it's not like a like a demon, like, it's a devil. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> the feds are here. Get everything out the window. Everything, everything. Who's it gonna be? Bye-bye. What, no one does anything? No, this is America, okay? Stop putting rants all over my car. Why are you carrying a full bottle of rants? <laughs> Even before ridiculousness existed, Rob, Chanel, and Stilo were having a great time on the Fantasy Factory throwing dodgeballs at each other. And who can forget this iconic clip from that show? Oh my God. I'm just scared to get hit. And then right after she got plunked, this happened. I expect toughness out of here, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying. No, no, I hate you. I was kicking it beyond. I did not mean to kick it at you. I was not kicking it at you. That was my accident, that's right. Now Chanel, I gotta ask you, what did you think of that clip? Okay, okay, so she's gotten over it. Now last I checked, this show has 1,008 episodes, which is an absolutely incredible number of episodes. And based on my research, which consists of a Google search, Rob Deerdick makes roughly $140,000 per episode. If we open up our handy dandy calculator there and type it in, that is roughly $140 million before tax. And that's literally just money from ridiculousness. That's not money from Fantasy Factory. That's not money from Robin Big. It's not money from any of his brands either. This man has like an incredibly unfathomable amount of money. Like he could probably spend an entire calendar year at the most expensive resort in the world and still have left the resort after that year having made more money. All right, everyone, welcome back to Ridiculousness. Now it's very well documented that I can't cook. Last time I tried to cook, it ended up all over the ceiling, all over the floor. I messed up my new shoes. I have this crazy story. I was cooking one day, the pan exploded. Like everywhere. Everywhere? Everywhere. Well, it's funny that you say that Chanel because our next category is cooking gone wrong. It's amazing that with YouTube where you can get literally any funny clip whenever you want it on demand that clip shows on TV even exist anymore. And so I will give props to AFV and ridiculousness for still existing but especially ridiculousness because it's way more entertaining than whatever AFV is nowadays. I mean come on Carlton are they holding you at gunpoint? Blink twice if you're in danger. But this show is MTV now. This show is literally the only show you'll ever see on there other than cops and it's all because MTV was desperate and then Rob Dyrdek tricked them into doing what he wanted, basically. MTV plays 23 hours of ridiculousness because your show is always on TV. I don't know if you know this, but it's kind of like constantly on MTV. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm 60% of the total programming. And I just happen to be lucky, you know what I mean, of like finding that sort of resurgence. But I was also, because I control and own the production, I have negotiated on the unit economics of the show and what the network needed as the cable advertising world was evolving. So I was able to control it at a higher level than traditional talent, which took me from getting 30 episode orders to 168 episode orders, which then eventually became 500 episode orders. Bob Deerdick is a freaking genius, man. So even before Ridiculousness started, he was making money off of all of his products because he got 100% of the money from any of his products in his shows. It was all 100% going to him. And then on top of that, new deals that MTV made, he got 50-50 splits on, so he's making more money off of that as well. Well, he explains how he did all of this on Graham Bensinger's channel. I'll put that down at the bottom here. But here's a little clip of that just so you kind of understand how he took over MTV in the first place. You could kind of creatively place products in here. You had to, I believe, work that out with MTV to get the right to 
do that, how difficult was it? Well, the reality of it was I was so ahead of my time that I tricked them. I had sold them ridiculousness during the final season of Robin Big. And I was like, I'm gonna make a cool version of America's Funniest Home Videos. And so when I did the deal, I just requested, I own all of my integration rights. If it's anything that I own, they can't say no to. Rob said it best in that interview. He wanted to make a cool version of America's Funniest Home Videos. And you can look in this video even. I said, who's watching America's Funniest Home Videos anymore? But I still to this day will randomly watch a ridiculous ridiculousness episode, but that's what this show is. It's cool, it's laid back, it's got fun people on it, it has fun guest stars, and they show funny clips. There's really not much else to it. Sterling, when you went skydiving, did you think if the parachute didn't open that you could survive? The parachute don't open, it's too late. No, no, let me, let, just for next time. You squirrel out, right? Then you look for like a hill, okay. and you like use your arms as flaps, <laughs> and you try to like slide into that hill. Right? Similar to Ridiculousness, the shows like Silent Library and Room Raiders that I've already made videos about before, they all have simple ideas and they execute them easily. And in Ridiculousness, all you do is you show up, you turn your brain off, and you watch some funny videos. But sometimes on Ridiculousness, the banter between the people in between the clips is actually better than the clips themselves. Which I think is why this clip show is better than any other clip show I've ever seen. Believe it or not, you know, a, a body can withstand a fall from eight stories. Right. Eight what? stories is not skydiving. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm not, it's not I'm a not, fact. I'm not even, I'm not gonna say it's a fact, <laughs> but it's like something similar to it. But Ridiculousness is the king of MTV, and it will continue to be the king of MTV until one day, when we all reach the age of 80, and we're all in our nursing home sitting there watching Ridiculousness, finally maybe one day, the last episode will air. But it's not gonna happen anytime soon. But taking a look at my watch here, it looks like I'm running out of time, because I need to go watch the new episode of Ridiculousness right now. But before I do that, I want to say thank you so much for watching this video, thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button, and thank you so much for clicking on this video right here on your screen. The algorithm knows you want to watch this video. Don't lie to yourself. Till next time, my name is Ryan Askew reminding you to stay askew because being normal is weird and being weird is kind of cool. I guess all that's left for me to say in this video is bye bye. You stole my snacks, backed up and ran away. Whole head, snacked up, <laughs> ran away. <laughs>